Yo, what is up monkeys? In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. As you can see, I'm on my PC and not on my quest. But, we are going to be learning how to mod your gorilla tag on the Oculus Quest 2. Um, in to uh, yeah, uh, as the title says, I'm just going to be showing you how to mod, get cosmetics, get a bunch of cool things on your Quest 2. This will not cover Rift, um... J just because I'm just showing you quests for now, um, I'll figure it out. I'll maybe make a video later if you guys uh, enjoy this one. Um, if you guys, if you do enjoy it, drop a like, subscribe, it would be much, much, much appreciated. Also join the Discord. Um, but yes, uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to mod uh, the side um, with side quest and quest patcher on to your gorilla tag. Okay, guys. So what you want to do is you want to open up your browser. Uh, I use Opera. You can also use Chrome, Firefox, whatever. I just like using Opera. Um, I have I have the two tabs you're gonna need. So your two tabs you're gonna need are the Discord and the Side Quest download, which will both be in the description. You're gonna have to log into your own Discord. I'll I'll put just put regular Discord in the link the description below if you need to log into that. But yes, um, uh, Discord. Just make sure you have Discord and the Side Quest installation page open. So first, you want to go to um, the side quest installation page. You want to download for Windows uh, 10. Next, you're going to wait for it. You're going to make sure it says downloads, and you're going to hit save. You're going to uh, either it's going to be up here, which for Opera it is, and uh, for Chrome and Firefox, it'll be down here somewhere. So you're going to double click that little icon right there and wait for it to load and open. Once, um, once it's, uh, opened up, I'm not going to show my name because that's, I, I can't show my name. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so you're going to open this and you're going to click the next button. Hit only for me. So make sure it says only for me. Next, you're going to make sure you're going to obviously just let it do its thing. Just have it in its own thing that it, it, um, it gave you already. And you're going to hit the install button. We're going to wait for it to install. We're going to wait for it to load. And then once it's, uh, it, sorry, my thing just popped up. All right. Once it, um, once, once this, um, pops up, you're going to hit the finish button. Now the little thing is going to open called like this. Now it's probably going to, um, for me, I think I already had it. So it's going to say connecting, but it's not, it's going to show this little downloading thing. Now, I'm not logged in. And as you can see, it says not detected up there. And we need this to be detected. So, we're going to hit sign in. If you don't have this, you're going to have to sign up instead. Follow the processes. I'm not going to get into it. So, um, get uh, sign up is what you're going to want to do. And then once you sign up and all that stuff, you're going to go to sign in. And you're going to uh, type in your stuff. I cannot show my email just because it's not, yeah, I, I just don't want to leak my information. So I'm going to type in my email, okay, and I'm going to type in my password, and we're going to click the I am not a robot, just to make sure we are not done. So it's going to ask for cars or whatever, crosswalks, whatever. Okay, so when you have finished and approved that you are not a robot, you're going to hit sign in or log in or whatever. So now that you are signed in, you're going to, so all you had to do is just make sure um, you have SideQuest installed. Next, you're going to close out of SideQuest, since you have it installed now, and you're going to open up your Discord. You're basically going to go to your Gorilla Tag modding, which I'm already in. Um, I'll put the link down in the description if you don't have the server already, but you're going to go to Gorilla Tag uh, modding. You're going to go down and right below downloads, there should be a little thing that says quest mod releases. You're going to go to quest mod releases and you're going to scroll up until you see the first quest patcher. You're going to hit the download button. That It has to say download next to it. Make sure it says download because this is a different thing. So make sure it says download next to it. It'll bring you to a GitHub page that says fix mod loader download link. So you're going to go down and you're going to hit the Windows EXE. So Quest Patcher Windows EXE. Don't hit any of the other ones, just Windows EXE. 
you're going to hit save in uh, downloads to make sure it's in downloads just so it's all all there and you're gonna see a little other um, icon pop up you're gonna double click that you're gonna wait for it to load and it should bring you to a page that says Windows protected your PC Microsoft Defender blah 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 uh, you're gonna hit more info and you're gonna hit run anyway Okay guys, so once it is loaded, uh, you're going to just hit install on for me only. It's gonna bring you to a page called license agreement, blah, 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 blah. You're gonna hit accept the agreement. It's gonna already put you at I do not accept the agreement. You, uh, you probably should read these before I read them myself just to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. I accept the agreement and you're gonna hit next. You're gonna give it, you're gonna do it, let it do a thing, put you in a section that's already in. You're gonna hit, I can't show my uh, information, so I'm just gonna blow that out. And then you're gonna hit install. You're gonna wait for it to do its thing. It's not gonna take that long. Once it's done, you're gonna hit next and then finish. Now, um, what you're gonna do is wait for it to load and it should pop up as quest patcher loading. Now, it's going to say quest not connected. What you're going to have to do is go ahead and get your quest and then try, try again. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So I've now plugged in my quest. And to make sure we have done that, we are going to go ahead into our search bar. We're going to open up side quest. Now, keep in mind, before I move on, you have to go to the mobile app and turn on developer mode. To make sure you do that uh, before you do any, uh, sorry, before you do any of this. I should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but it's okay. So you should see in the top left corner, Oculus Quest 2, blah, 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 connected, connected. I'm going to blur out all of this because I don't want you seeing my IP and stuff. So this is going to show up. It's going to be a little green thing that says you're connected. That's how you know it's sure. So you can just close out of side quest because you know you're connected. And now you can hit try again. Now it's gonna let us do a thing, app version, blah, 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 downloading APK. It's gonna let us do a thing. Now, what you're gonna do is it should pop up and say, patch my app, but I already have mods. So you're gonna hit patch my app, and in your headset, it's probably gonna say, allow debugging files or whatever. So it's gonna say, allow debugging files, you're gonna hit always allow for this computer. And then you're going to just hit allow for everything. Um, once you're done, you can go back to your Discord. And th 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 these both sections should be blank. So there shouldn't nothing be there. And then you, you can go back to the um, Discord. And you can go to hats and materials and etc. And you can basically just go to, for instance, uh, hats. So let's just say I wanted to get, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, just let's just say I wanted to get the uh, nether black hat you would click the little download link and something would pop up you, you're gonna get a little notification and it's gonna pop up right there what you're gonna want to do is hit that little like open show in folder it is you're gonna click um, for a chrome and Firefox you're gonna click the little up arrow and then show in folder for me I just click this little thing right here and then you're going to open up quest patcher 2 and you're basically going to drag and drop into the top one because you um the top one if you need something for the bottom one it'll automatically put it in so if you like um want like a nether hat or you want to make sure you have the gorilla cosmetics or like whatever mod you want just drag and drop to the top one um but yeah that's basically about it so when you load up your game again it should you might like lo uh, load up your Oculus and be like, "Wait, whoa! It says unofficial app now." Um, well, it, it, no worries. It's just it's just letting you know that it's unofficial, meaning you modded it and it's not un official anymore. But that's fine. It's gonna probably put you up at tutorial again, just so you can um, what's it called? You can, so you can go down and put put your mods. But yes, that's basically it on how to mod Gorilla Tag. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe. It will be much appreciated. All the links will be down in the uh, description below. So it will be much, much easier for you to navigate this. Um, please drop uh, drop a sub. I think I already said that. But please drop a sub. It will be much appreciated. Um, we're gonna. I'm trying to do more tutorials like this. So it's easier for you guys to do Gorilla Tag. Um, but yes, this is it for my how to mod Gorilla Tag video. You what?
20 on the scene. She got that meds on her back. Ask for the hundred in cash. 